On this episode of System Integrators Weekly, we're going over five different mistakes a lot of people make when they're looking for a pre-built computer and how you can avoid them. All that and more on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's go, nerds! This episode of System Integrators Weekly is sponsored by CDK Deals. CDK Deals is an online marketplace that specializes in discounted, genuine Microsoft licenses and game keys for several different platforms. My viewers can get an additional 25% off with the discount code BRAY25. Let's get a Windows key. We'll opt for Windows 10 Pro for the enhanced security features. CDK Deals offers an OEM license for a fraction of the price of a retail key. The difference with an OEM key is that you can only use it on one system, but that should be all you need. You will need to make sure you either have Windows 10 Pro already installed or you perform a fresh installation since OEM keys cannot be used to upgrade from Windows 10 Home if that's what you have installed currently. Here I entered Bray25 to get 25% off. You can also click where it says Use Activity Discount for a small additional discount. Now our key for Windows 10 Pro is only $15.43. Pay with your method of choice and once the payment goes through, click View Keys slash Codes. Click Get the Key and copy it. Then just go to your Windows search, type in ACT, up ah, there it is. Click Activation Settings. My Windows install was already activated, so I'll be replacing that key, but yours should just say Activate Windows. Paste in the key, click Next, and Activate, and you're done. Thank you, CDK Deals, for continuing to support the channel. Hello, everyone. I'm Breathorn. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly, where we're, um, you know, I think it's time for a change. But let's not talk about that here. Change. Change can be frightening. You do things the same way for so long. The old ways can be like a safety blanket. Looking back, I'm not sure when wearing this random gray hoodie even became a thing for me. When I put it on, it was like Clark Kent taking off his glasses. Or Sylvester Stallone turning his hat around and over the top. Yeah. Still, I think it says somewhere, when I became a man, I put away childish things. Well, that's dumb. Because video games, cartoons, and all the things I grew up loving will always be awesome. Something Hollywood's been capitalizing on for decades, you know what I mean? But when it comes to growing as a creator, I guess I have to agree. So maybe it's time to say goodbye to an old friend. Respectfully, of course. Hmm, good print quality. Jesus, it's windy out here. I guess what I'm saying is this. Work hard in the present. Keep your eyes on what's ahead. But never forget where you came from. is 100% better. Yes, that may have been a bit dramatic, but you know, it's new merch. It's stuff that came in and I'm really happy about it, but I won't go on and on and on about merch, 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 because I mean, that would be just really aggravating for you guys, right? I mean, excuse me, I just have to take a drink, a cool drink out of this double walled tumbler here that printed beautifully it makes the drinks colder, the fact that our, our, our mascot's on there. Excuse me. Delicious. Now, hold on, I gotta get this. It's, uh, <laughs> look, my phone was sitting on the this gloriously giant, chunky RGB sticker. Yeah, that's, uh, that's 
It's not RGB like light up stick. How would you power that? It's not actually RGB. His name is RGB. B yeah, anyway, uh, it's just weird. It's not a coaster. You're not a coaster. Anyway, so glossy and beautiful. Anyway, um, before you go complain in the comments about, oh, we're just talking about merch, merch, merch. Show me a YouTube channel that's successful that doesn't yammer about merch in every single video. RGBstore.tech. Anyway, sound familiar, right? So what we're doing today is uh, first we're going to talk about some really exciting stuff. So if you don't like exciting stuff and finding out about giveaways and stuff, just go to the timestamps and st skip to where I start talking about the five mistakes a lot of people make when looking for a pre-built computer and how to avoid them. So first, I want to mention that things are really heating up around here when it comes to things I'm going to be giving you if you win anyway. And when I say giveaways, I'm not just talking about like a, a something nebulous, like an, an hour consultation, which those are usually great to do and everything. But, um, you know, and again, if you didn't win one of those, don't worry. I do the, you know, you can pay me to do one. Or if you're looking for an artesian build, I do them for free. Just DM me on Discord. OK, um, yeah, but I'm talking about stuff, real physical things, you know, like uh, LED light kits and sort of very rare, rare desk pads that you can you you can only get for a limited time, but you could get one for free. Um, and also just other things, including potentially, very likely, shh, we have to say this quietly, an entire freaking gaming computer. Yeah, eventually. It's exciting. I know. So get subscribed if you're not subscribed already, because like, you don't want to miss that stuff. It's, it's just free stuff. And you'll get every, everyone will have a chance to enter for free. All the patrons get a few extra entries. Just saying. Patreon.com slash Brayathorn. Anyway, uh, yes. So, by the way, new URL is coming up for the merch store. It's going to be RGBstore.tech. That's B-E-E, -E, like the B. I, that's his name. That's the mascot's name, RGB. I know. It's very clever. So next, let's get to the disclaimers, okay? This one isn't quite as relevant this time because I'm not just going through showing you who has what and for how much this time. We're going over something a lot more important, but when we do show you prices and availability, that can change very quickly. I've been told that several of the systems in last week's video were out of stock hours after I uploaded the video, which is not at all frustrating for me, in, extremely, but, that's just how the market is. Seriously, um, don't make any hasty decisions, but if you're ready to make a purchase, hopefully I can provide you with enough information to make a confident, informed decision. Uh, next, a lot of this is going to be, uh, this is mostly based on facts that you will see on your screen that are indisputable. Thank you for recognizing that um, and watching the entire video so that you know exactly what I mean by what I say and where I'm coming from. Uh, but the other part of it is uh, partially my opinions. And uh, those, those those are formed from facts and my experiences, uh, like opinions should be, right? But they are opinions and that's where the sticking point can be. And if you disagree, that's totally fine and also cool. Please let me know in the comments or on the Discord uh, where we have a whole channel just for tech discussion or um, heck, join the stream. I stream every Sunday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Central twitch.tv slash Brayathorn. So let's start talking about some of the mistakes people make. I mean, I'm I'm ready to get into this. I'm ready to talk about, uh, I'm, you know what? With this with this new with this new gear, I'm like, I feel even more ready to like dis NZXT's like complete lack of airflow with their, uh... oh. Oh, they did that. Uh, the meta only shifted to airflow like two years ago. So they're totally not way behind on that. But you know, they have this like, monochromatic aesthetic well except for the black and red h710 but like they they don't they don't they, they'll make partially white things they don't even make a white aio which is like a huge component in a system that uh um hmm they they did that too i go watching my channel nzxt i'm hard on you because i like you so all right let's talk about the first thing the first thing for you to know when you are going to be looking for a gaming PC, a pre-built PC, the first thing for you to know is what you actually need, okay? Because if you're aware of what you need, 
then you're not gonna overspend and it'll be a lot easier to find what you want. Just to give you an idea here, you know how I keep touting the uh, RTX 3060 Ti as the best price to performance GPU on the market. I mean, price is not withstanding, but just, you know, when you go pre-built, you can actually get a good price comparison there. This is an article from Tom's Hardware that is really cool. It's a GPU hierarchy, and they just sort of objectively scored all these different GPUs from past and present. And if you look, there's our little buddy, the 3060 Ti, beating the Titan 5 and the 2080 Super and the 2080 and the Titan XP and the 2070 Super. It's a little beast, okay? It is really rad. Like, would you tell me, oh, you can't play 1440p on a 2080 Super? Of course you can. And you can do it on a 3060 Ti too, or Ti or whatever. It's Ti. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's incredible. It's a really incredible card. So if you're trying to game at 1440p, well, first off, here are my thoughts on a very important aspect of being able to game at higher resolutions. Roll that uh, semi-beautiful bean footage. It is a waste of GPU resources to set your graphic settings to ultra. The difference between high and very high settings to ultra is like this much visually and like this much in demand on your GPU. It is the definition of diminishing returns. And visually, it's so hard to tell the difference, but your GPU sure as hell knows the difference. Don't set your graphics to ultra. Yeah, it's not an original thought from me, but for some reason, people, like so many people watch Linus Tech Tips, they seem to have missed that one. Probably because, because it said ultra graphics are stupid and they had a physical reaction, just a visceral rejection of that title of that video. It's, it is, it's dumb, don't go ultra graphics. Okay, go back to the to the, where I played the thing on where I talked about it on stream. Go back to that and watch it 13, 14 times if you need to. The fact will remain. It, it is not a great thing to do, even if you have a really high spec system. Diminishing returns. It is it is it is not really worth it. Stick with high and very high or even medium. The smoother your experience, the more pleasant and fun it will be. Okay? So know what you need. Not what you want. And if you can, maybe get something in between. But look at this right here. So if, if you're telling, oh, I got to have a 3070, 3070 Ti for 1440p, clearly you're going to be spending a lot more than this. But this 1649, same day ready system, 5600X, best price to performance gaming CPU on the market. And it is paired with the 3060 Ti for 1649 with this awesome new case. This is actually. By the way, guys, a little delay on them getting me the same day ready system to review. Uh, I by power is sending me one a loaner system so I can take a take a crack at it. Not a literal crack at it because I have to pay them money. But um, yeah, so I can, you know, take a look at it, show you all a few things about it and all that. That one that they sent me, we're going to send me before is now uh, discontinued. So this is the this is this is a new one right here. So that's what they're going to send me. It's got this little, this little slot opening on the glass. Maybe it'll help. We will find out. I'm gonna benchmark the crap out of that thing. Uh, or if you just wanna game at 1080p, right here, Build Redux. They're catching up on their systems and also this does not use an X570 board, unfortunately. I would say B550 would be the way to go, but they don't believe that B550s exist over at old Build Redux. So they went with an A520M board. It's still capable of running any 5000 series uh, AMD CPU. Uh, yeah, but 3600, six cores, 12 threads, um, well known to be a good budget, a great budget uh, gaming CPU, and uh, the GeForce GTX 1660, and I've been told by people who bought this that they got a 1660 Super, it just wasn't listed as such, but that card can really churn out some 1080p frames, okay? it's This is a good 1080p system. Dual channel RAM, a one terabyte M.2 drive, it also has a 240, 240 uh, millimeter a AIO, a great airflow case. This is a rad budget system for 14, well, it's 1400 still. The next thing I want to talk about here is to beware of current budget gaming computers. When I talk about a budget gaming computer a year and a half ago, two years ago, that would have been around $600 and $700, $800, and you're able to game pretty well. Um, now, this is what $800 will get you, $899, $900, okay? It gets you no GPU, 
It's a Ryzen 5 5600G APU with an iGPU, integrated graphics, that use your system memory. So that means you have to have fast RAM in order for this integrated graphics to work. But instead, you get one, oh, you also have to have a, a decent amount of RAM as well. Instead, they give you one stick, single channel, one eight gig stick of RAM. By the way, this is Digital Storm. And uh, this, by the way, has a 240 gig solid state drive, and they mean a 2.5 inch SSD, which is much slower than an M.2 drive. But they do add in a two terabyte spinning hard drive, a mechanical hard drive. That is slow storage. For mass, hard, mass storage hard drives like that are now mostly just used for professionals to, to store like raw footage and raw photos and other raw data that they don't need to access very often, okay? I use several of them because I have a YouTube channel. So, and I edit photos and do graphic design and stuff. So, well, a little bit, but uh, yeah. So they do that, and premium air cooler and, uh, oh, well, Windows 10. Well, great, thanks guys. Um, yeah, the next step up is $2,000. You know, so this could be a decent system, but in this case, I've got a better option for you. This system right here is $872, and you can actually build it yourself. Instead of a 5600G, which is a six core 12 thread APU or an, a, a processor with a, it's an all-in-one CPU, GPU. Instead of that, it has the 5700G, which is the eight core 16 thread one. It's better performance, more cores. It's gonna be more capable for down the line when you actually get yourself a GPU. It's got a 240, mil 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler with RGB fans, because why not? And it instead of just air cooler, like you've got on the uh, Digital Storm system, it has an ASUS Tough Gaming B550 Plus Wi-Fi, so it's got Wi-Fi built in. It's got Crucial Ballistics 16 gigs DDR4 3600 CL16 memory. Now more would be better clearly, but 16 gigs currently is still fine. You want more RAM? Just double this up, 75 times two. Just get two more sticks or get yourself a couple sticks of 16 gigs each for 32 gigs of RAM. But it's the speed that matters here because the integrated GPU is gonna be using that system memory as VRAM, okay? so. There you go. Uh, plus it's white because I went with a white Fantex Eclipse P360A mid tower case, comes with two RGB fans. And of course we got, instead of having a 250 gig uh, SSD, bleh, that's fine for your game storage and for stuff like that. And you want more, you want like a terabyte, but putting most of your storage on a spinning hard drive, Instead, you got a one terabyte M.2 NVMe drive, okay? It goes right on the motherboard, plugs directly in, and you get way, way faster storage. This is a pretty budget-oriented one with a Crucial P2, but you can get a better one if you want. There's clearly a little bit of room in the budget there, okay? Um, now, we've also got an actual brand name power supply, and it's a great one. EVGA G3 fully modular 80 plus gold certified power supply. So yes, this is a far superior system. And guess what? You get to build it yourself for less money. For people out there who are like, that's actually another one. That's the next one. The next mistake that I don't want you guys to make, okay? The third mistake is you actually can still do a DIY PC build, but you have to temper your expectations. Uh, there's a lot of comments that I get where people tell me I was able to find a GPU. I waited outside Best Buy for 12 hours and I lucked into getting one for myself. Well, Lottie dog, good for you. Whoopity do. Actually, that's really cool. And I'm actually super happy for you if that happens. Don't, don't, don't let the, the whoopity do, uh, uh, you know, sour your shun sunshine or whatever. Uh, that's, no one's ever said that. I'm actually hyped for you but I can't make recommendations based on your luck or anyone's luck, definitely not my luck. And and something like, I will I will not support the new X Shuffle. I will not support this on Newegg where anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000 for a GPU for a 3080. That's two to three times the price. More than three times the price in the, in the case of this ROG Strix card. That's the Gundam edition. It's super expensive, I know. 18 or $1,900 for the standard white Strix. Like, 
That's more than double MSRP. I, I can't recommend that. I don't want to support that. If you pay these prices, you're perpetuating the inflated GPU market. And if you do this through eBay, first off, good luck, I guess. But secondly, you are supporting scalpers, the very people who half got us into the situation as it stands. I can, however, recommend this. And when I say temper your expectations, temper your expectations as for how soon you can get a GPU. That's the next topic. And secondly, temper your gaming expectations because this is an iGPU and it is Zen, a Zen 3 CPU, but it is Vega graphics. Yeah, Vega graphics, it's a little older, okay? But if you play at 1080p for now, you'll have an acceptable gaming experience, a, a decent gaming experience even. Remember the whole thing about not setting things to ultra? Uh, we can replay that, Cuddles, replay that. It is a waste of GPU resources to set your graphic settings to ultra. The difference between high and very high settings to ultra is like this much visually and like this much in demand on your GPU. It is the definition of diminishing returns. And visually, it's so hard to tell the difference, but your GPU sure as hell knows the difference. Don't set your graphics to ultra. Because something like this, it will bog it down to no end, okay? But for now, you will have a sweet custom-built gaming computer that you built, and until you get yourself that GPU, you can game like that, there you go. Streaming might be an issue though, if that's something you're trying to do. If streaming is an issue, if you want to stream, just get this. It's double the price, but it comes with a 3060 Ti, which is fantastic for streaming because of the NVENC encoder. I hate saying NVENC encoder. It's like saying ATM machine. It's NV encoder. That's what NVENC stands for. But everyone says NVENC encoder, so I do too. Just like everyone says 3600 megahertz for RAM and it's mega transfers, but you know what? The industry doesn't like 3600 mega transfers per second as is, is, is whatever. That's it's fine. I can adapt. I'm not that. Uh, OCD. Mm. Okay, now the next thing is the desire to build a computer is there, is very strong in a lot of people. Now, for those of y'all who don't care and just want to pre-build, you're on the right channel. For those of you who really want to build, you're also on the right channel, okay? I'm not making any separations here. But I've had some of those people come back and say, you know what, I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm gonna wait it out. And if you've got something like a 2070 Super, 2080 Super in your system, or even a 1080 Ti, or if you've got one of those GPUs, then this next part is gonna be a little easier on you. For those of you who really need something and really, really wanna build, don't expect the shortages to end anytime soon. They were saying 2022 months ago, and since then things have only gotten worse, including things like the price of uh, rare earth metals going up by 150% or so. Those are used in making things like this, including consoles and all of that. Just to give you an idea, from the people who know, this right here is an article from CNBC where they talked to some automakers in Europe. And one of them was the uh, Ford Europe's chairman of the management board, Gunnar Hermann. Ford Europe's Hermann, meanwhile, estimates the chip shortage could continue through to 2024 adding that it's difficult to pinpoint exactly when it will end. Okay, so first you drop some really awful news and then you're like, but I don't know, maybe I'm only the chairman of the management board for Europe. Now, that's an automaker and they're deeply invested in when the chip shortages are gonna end because they're trying to make cars and cars need chips and semiconductors and all that. They need it. They, there's still fields of brand new Ford trucks that they cannot sell because they don't have the electronics. But that's that's still, that's automakers. Let's go right to the source. Uh, TSMC is, uh, is, is the world's largest contract chip manufacturer. The world's largest. They would probably have a good handle on this, right? Warnings about the chip shortage lasting into 2022 are broadly in line with what TSMC said last quarter. When CEO CC Wei said, um, in 2023, I hope we can offer more capacity to support our customers. At that time, 2023, we'll start to see the supply chain tightness release a little bit sometime in 2023. We're still in 2021, y'all. This channel's not going anywhere. Pre-builds are still gonna be the way to go. And things are getting hard for them too, but they are continuing to get their supply and they're continuing to sell at what is now what would be considered reasonable prices. 
For those of you who are out there ready to make a comment saying, I don't believe in pre-builds. First of all, how can you not believe in them? They're, they exist, they're right there. But yeah, if you guys are trying to come in here still and say, well, it's better, it's still better to build your own. Well, you can, but it won't be with a GPU unless you get really lucky. Everyone's like, oh, just go to Micro Center. There are, you know how many different areas there are in the world that aren't where you are? Micro Center is only in the US and has 25 locations. There are 50 states, 48 in the continental US, and most people don't live near them. There's one in my state, it's seven hours away. Yes, you can get GPUs for near MSRP on certain very few days of the month, if more than once a month, I don't know. Um, but that's so rare. You, you can't suggest that to other people as a reliable thing that they can do, which is what I have to do, making a YouTube channel for everyone. I appreciate that you guys are trying to be helpful. I don't appreciate that you talk down about pre-built or custom computers built by system integrators. Don't talk down about system integrators. They are our only hope at the moment. I'm not the only one who says this. So yeah, number four is do not expect those shortages to end anytime soon. If you try to convince everyone else of that, you're not doing them any favors. Now let's get to number five. And number five is good news, great news, excellent news, okay? Um, I don't want you to think if you're looking at something like, uh, because I've suggested many times that you look at Artesian builds. I see so many people when I'm hanging out in the stream because their streams are rad and the people are rad and it's just a good time. Go and watch people build computers. It's so therapeutic. Go to go to twitch twitch.tv slash Artesian builds, please. It's awesome, okay? Um, I'm hanging out in there and people will just pop in there who, who, are, who are new to it and say, ah, man, I wish I could afford this. I've only got a thousand dollar budget. Well, we're gonna pop in here real quick interrupt this message with the comment of the week. The comment of the week is one I see very often and I feel you. Steven Mosher said, sorry if you've already done it, but could you do a comparison of the best site for a budget PC? I'd say as close to a thousand dollars, crazy. That's what considered budget these days. And it is true though, even higher actually is $1,200, $1,300 is a budget PC now. Would be really helpful for a lot of people. Thanks, Bray. Steven Mosher, you're welcome. This is not a whole video on that because there are very few places that will build a budget gaming PC that I trust. Case in point, Digital Storm, $899, $900, and I wouldn't recommend this system. It has decent airflow if they put all those fans in there because it looks like it has an AIO and uh, this says it has an air cooler in it. So it's a little bit misleading. We're actually in the wrong thing there. There, that one right there. Yeah, it has an air cooler, the storage is, uh, it's, it has a lot, there's a lot of volume, but it's not fast. Single channel RAM, Zen 3 processors, Ryzen 5000 series processors and 3000 series, they hate single channel RAM. They do not run well on single channel. You gotta have at least two RAM sticks, well, two or four RAM sticks, okay? Dual channel RAM and the right frequency, which is 3600 megahertz. I can't recommend this. You can build on it. You can add more RAM. You can buy yourself an M.2 drive. You can't. Then you're just doing, you just do this. Then you don't have to add money to it because wait, how did it, yeah, 882, there you go. I mean, that, like this is better. It's better and it's cheaper and you get to build it. But besides all that, if you really wanna have a dedicated GPU and your budget is $1,000, there's really, or uh, roughly, and as Steve said, you said uh, close to $1,000, right? Which gives me about, I would say there's a swing of about $100 each way, right? That's fair, I think. Um, if you want a dedicated GPU with that, and they're selling, you know, 3060s and whatnot for, for $700, or a 1660 Ti for $600, it's ridiculous. So you cannot get that in here for that budget. It, it you know, you can maybe, go for some bargain parts and you can, and a couple of these are, but still, they're still from reputable brands. That's what I would like to recommend. But I, there is hope, there is hope. I mean, as much as I like iBuyPower, as far as the bigger names in uh, system integrators go, they're one of the most reliable 
Although, of course, every big company with high volume will have outliers of issues that might happen. But they used to have systems that were around $1,000 to $1,200 that would have a dedicated GPU, like a 1660 Ti or 1650, and they were great. I could always recommend those, and they went out really quick. But they're, those are all discontinued right now. Their systems start around $1,500 right now, and they're deep, they're good. They're good systems. That doesn't mean you magically have more budget. There is hope, and that hope is actually super rad. All right? Steven, check this out right here. Head on over to artesianbuilds.com. And uh, you can build this system right here. Look at this. Um, you have budget parts, but all brand name, put together by professionals, live on stream. And it comes with the best warranty in the business. Five-year labor warranty, three-year parts warranty. And although, as I said, I like iBuyPower, I buy power, y'all really got to work on your warranty because you're kind of falling behind there. If we take a look here, click on warranty, the standard warranty, the three year standard warranty, sounds good, right? But it's three years labor and only one year for the parts. You can purchase a four year extended warranty that goes four years labor and two years parts. You could even get up to matching the Artesian builds warranty with five years of labor and three years of parts. So I am curious to see just how much that would cost. Let's take a look. Add more protection. The five-year warranty is $300. Whereas with Artesian, it's just part of the deal. By the way, Artesian, if, 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 uh, if you get a system from them and it needs to be sent back to them for a reason that's not of your own making, like throwing a brick at it or whatever, then uh, they pay for the shipping too. For those of you who are there thinking, I could never afford one of those Artesian systems. As I was saying earlier, $1,039.61. This comes with an Intel 10100F, and yes, that's a four-core, eight-thread processor, and that's that's a it's a it's a budget processor. But a lot of games still rely on single-core performance. You can game on this pretty well too. Uh, Vetru V5 ARGB CPU cooler, B560 uh, Micro ATX motherboard. You can upgrade each of these little things if one of these isn't to your liking and you have the budget for it. Uh, 3200 megahertz, 16 gigs of RAM. That's dual-channel RAM and an NVIDIA GTX 1650, okay. 1080p gaming, go for it. 550 watt, gold rated, fully modular, brand name power supply. They'll use EVGA or uh, Fantex or brand name. Uh, 80 plus gold, nothing else, nothing lower. And uh, a 500 gig NVMe SSD, yes, that could be higher. And yes, you can go in there and click one terabyte if you're willing to pay for the upgrade. It's not a huge upgrade either. I mean, it's effectively a large upgrade, but you can add storage yourself. Storage is one of the easiest things to add to a system. If you need Wi-Fi, you can add a Wi-Fi card or a motherboard that has Wi-Fi built in, but the Wi-Fi card's only about $37, $38. Still keeps you under $1,100. Go with that. If you want to upgrade something, my suggestions would be, you can upgrade the processor for $82 to a 10400F, that's six cores, 12 threads, and uh, higher performance in the 10100F. Uh, you can also go up for $150 to a 1660 Ti, just like that. 1660 Ti, the best budget GPU on the market. Also, you can upgrade your storage to a one terabyte. Yeah, but you can go in here and change whatever you want. Comes with a case with RGB fans, has an RGB fan on the air cooler. So if you're really stuck on RGB, this comes with it. It's not this case. That's just a picture. It's a deep cool Matrix 50. Dual intake on the front. Lots of exhaust on the top and on the back. All that stuff, awesome system, built for you live on stream, so there's no anxiety of like, oh, did they do a good job on cable management? Did they care about what they were doing? These guys are professionals, man. Also, the tongue was wearing one of my t-shirts on stream, and it was really awesome and really cool. I might've cried a little bit. What's up, tongue? Shout out. Shout out to everybody, all of y'all. Power teams, y'all are awesome. Now, this is a budget system, but if you wanna go all out on a system, there's also no better place. So if you want something like that, DM me on Discord and I'll walk you through it. I'll help you out. No consultation fee, uh, because I, I really believe in these guys. I've had several, I mean, many Discord members get these systems and they come out freaking phenomenal. Also, by the way, guys, I get, I, I know I'm way behind on DMs on, on Twitter and Instagram, but I, I never said to DM me there. I, I don't look at those. So if you're just bound and determined to, to DM me there for help with an Artesian build, just put the first word in your DM, be Artesian, and I'll, it'll help me sort through them and find you, okay? 
Anyway, that was the longest comment of the week section right there uh, with Stephen Mosher. Thank you, Stephen, for commenting. Um, thank you for being a subscriber, and uh, I appreciate you. I hope that was a good answer for you. And Stephen, if you have any questions on that, hit me up on Discord. Guys, the link to the Discord is in the description, and um, it's a rad place. We're almost at 800 people on there. I've got some awesome techies there, so if you have questions, go to tech, the Tech Questions channel, do at techie, and put your question there, and they will get you going. Of course, you can always come to the streams as well. Jump into the streams, twitch.tv slash Brayathorn. Join us there, and, um, and those are getting to be even more and more fun. Like, crazy fun. Seriously. I'm about to throw a YouTube story up there that's gonna blow your mind. But yeah, don't think, don't, don't think that you can't afford the best. Okay, as long as you remember the lesson number one here, know what you need. Go by your budget and what you need, not by what you want or what your buddies tell you you gotta have. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I told you, you've got a lot of giveaways coming up. It's gonna be a giveaway every single month. Get subscribed so you don't miss any of them, okay? We got some really exciting stuff coming up and uh, October 1st, I'm gonna release a really cool video and that's gonna be the launch of the first giveaway. It's gonna be the giveaway for October and I am so excited and so should you be as well. So I'll see you guys on stream tonight, unless it's not Sunday night anymore, and then I'll see you on the next one. But otherwise, please, take care.